Hello YouTube, Ian559Fresno here, and I'm going to teach you how to fix your iPhone 3G, which is stuck in recovery mode, error 1015. Um, this probably happened, you remember being unlocked, you were using it on T-Mobile or whatever. You clicked the update or the restore button in iTunes and went through all the way, then it got stuck, said error 1015, and now you, all you see is this. Uh, good news, it is fixable, and I'm going to teach you step by step, since, um, my last video, some people couldn't fix it step by step. They need an actual tutorial, so thought I'd make this. This is only for the 3G. If you have a 3GS, look at my other video. The way you can tell is the 3G will be written in gray right here, but the 3GS will have all the writing in Chrome, like this. Give me just a second. The 3GS will have chrome writing like it'll be shiny just like the Apple logo. Okay, so now that we've verified that you have an iPhone 3G, what you need to do is download three files. One is Red Snow, the other is an is a 4.2.1 custom firmware, or aka custom restore, and a 4.2.1 regular firmware. Just it'll just say 4.2.1 restore. Okay, so once that's done, if you're running Windows 7, right click, then click Properties. It'll give you an option to unblock right here, just click that, then go to Compatibility. Run it in Compatibility Mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2, then run it as an administrator, click Apply, then click OK. Now just open up Red Snow. Browse, click Browse right here, it'll tell you... Um, to browse, it'll say welcome to Red Snow 0.9.6. It doesn't matter which one, beta 5, beta 6, RC9, RC12, as long as it says Red Snow 0.9.6 in this welcome screen. See, welcome to Red Snow 0.9.6. That's all we care about. Okay, so once you click browse, here, let me start over. Once you click browse, this window will open up. You need to find your regular firmware, non-custom, not this one, see it says cust. You want to just get the regular one. It'll be wherever your firmware downloaded to, so just click on it once, and then click open. It'll be, say processing, then it'll say IPSW successfully identified, that's good. Just click next. It should say patching kernel. Okay, you'll see all this info, like any custom logos, all that. We don't need that. You need to uncheck Install Cydia and uncheck Enable Battery Percentage. Go down where it says Just Entered PwnDFU Mode right now, and just click that. Click Next. It'll ask you to power off your device, so what we're going to do right now is power off our device. Sorry, it's a little crooked on the tripod. Okay, so what you're going to do to power it off is just hold the home and the power button right now at the same time. Once it powers off, let go. Okay, so we're all good. It's plugged in. Okay, so r these are the steps you're going to have to do. You're going to have to hold the power button, which is the button up here, for about three seconds. It'll tell you right here how many seconds to hold it for. After you hold that, it'll go down to the next step, and then it'll tell you to hold both this power button and this bottom home button for about ten seconds. And um, it'll tell you when to go to the next step. After you hold both these buttons for about ten seconds, Release the power button, but continue holding the home button. So let's get started. Your device must be off. Let's click next. See, it says hold the power button for two seconds. Now it tells me to hold both the home and the power, so I'm doing that. Don't worry, just keep holding it. Okay, now we're going to release the power button, continue holding the home button for 15 seconds. Now there's only 10 seconds remaining. 
Okay. Now, once you see some writing movement, you can let go. Set your eye device aside. I just say done. Your device should now be in own DFU mode and the screen should be black. So this is why you entered phone DFU mode. You want to restore your device to a custom IPSW to match the baseband, you know, the iPad baseband you clicked when you first unlocked your iPhone. You need to restore it to a firmware which has that baseband. That's what the regular firmware didn't have the same baseband and every time you update your phone, iTunes tries to update the baseband. But since you were running 6.15.00, and the iPhones are in a 5 point something sequence iTunes couldn't update the baseband and it gave you error 1015 so that's why your device was stuck okay so we're gonna open up iTunes now it should say iTunes has detected it in iPhone in recovery mode I'm sure you've seen this message like a million times probably hate it okay so what you're gonna do now is push the shift key on your computer, you're going to have to hold that. Then you're going to go to where it says restore in iTunes, see right here. You're going to hold the shift key and then click restore. And a window will pop up just like before. This time you're going to select the iPhone 2, 1 comma 2 custom restore. Just select it and click open. And the top should say extracting firmware or software. Preparing iPhone for a store, that's okay, it's all good. Just give it some time, it's doing a restore right now, it should be done soon. Um, after this is all done, just be sure to check out my other video on how to jailbreak it uh, and re-unlock it. So I'll just wait here for the entire step to complete. let it restore it's doing its thing um try not to touch your eye device um your iphone uh you don't want it to get disconnected that wouldn't be a good thing um so just better be safe than sorry just let it sit on your computer and i also know that when you look at the top right here it may show like it's restoring more but down here on your iphone it's like a fourth of the way done, up here it's like a half of the way done. Don't worry, that's all normal.
through so it's almost done as you can tell on the top but we're like halfway done on the iPhone. Um, this time you're not going to get the 1015 message which is a good thing. The reason that the iTunes is almost all the way done and then the iPhone is halfway is that baseband thing. As you can tell right now the custom firmware it has the 6.15 baseband already in it. So what that's going to do is it's not going to update the baseband and you're going to be all good, no more errors. It's going to finish and it's going to start from the beginning. Don't worry when it starts from the beginning, it's very quick. Okay, as you can tell we're almost done. See before I'm sure you remember it used to just freeze right here and then exit. Um, it's not going to do that this time. Yay, I think it's done almost, finally. iTunes is done, the Apple thing is almost. It didn't freeze, don't worry, it's still working. Also, please note, it's going to finish right now, leave it plugged in. Almost done, it didn't freeze. Um, the time limit is kind of ending right now, it's gonna end soon. Um, if I don't get to finish the video as of now, it'll just finish everything will be back to normal. Just put your SIM card in your phone, your AT&T one. Uh, if you don't have AT&T, just watch my other video on how to jailbreak. I'll link it uh, in this video right now. You'll see like a little pop up window. Um, I hope you like watching this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section. So maybe someone else can help you too.